One advantage to Macs is that you can legally run every operating system you want to on them. I'm excited to have OS X, Ubuntu, Windows XP, and Windows 7 all on one machine. But after adding Windows 7 to VMware recently, I ran into a problem. It said my Ethernet driver was no good, and I couldn't get the Internet to work. I tried reinstalling VMware tools, but nothing worked. Nothing that is, until I tried this handy tip I found on Dave Taylor's website. Thanks, Dave. The problem is in a VMware configuration file. Let me show you how to find it and modify it to make your Ethernet work. Shut down the virtual machine. Even if it's suspended, I recommend firing it up and shutting it all the way down. Now you need to find the virtual image of Windows 7. It's likely in documents in a folder called Virtual Machines. The image for your Windows 7 is likely called something like Windows 7. Mine's not. It's a long story involving upgrading XP to Windows 7 on a virtual machine. Don't let it throw you. Whatever your image is called, if you're sure it's the right one, control or right click and choose Show Package Contents. Now find the file that ends in .vmx. Right or control click on that file and choose Open With and then choose Text Edit or whatever text editor you prefer. Once the file opens in your editor, scroll down until you find these four lines that start Ethernet 0. You're going to add a fifth line. Type Ethernet 0 dot virtual dev equals quote E1000 end quote. Now save that file and close it. Go restart the virtual machine and you should now have the ability to surf the internet. It's a virtual miracle! <laughs> I know. I'm Tom Merritt, CNET.com. For your daily dose of tech news, check out CNET's Loaded. It's packed full of the latest tech news highlights that matter to you. Find out the latest gadgets or the coolest gizmos. All that and more Monday through Thursday at CNET.com slash Loaded.